in this lecture we talk about fermi curie plot but question is why we discuss fermi curie plot the reason is that if we want to predict that is any transition or beta disintegration in accordance to fermi theory we can do so by fermi curie plot if fermi curie plot between two quantities is a straight line then that transition is an out transition and for those transitions which are forbidden transitions or forbidden decays the fermi curie plot will be a distorted curve we discuss this in this lecture we have equation 1 in this form decay probability that was equal to g square a natural constant m nuclear matrix element f fermi function which was depending upon z and t into t plus m not c square energy term t square plus 2 m not c square t whole power half that was momentum term t not was total energy t energy at any instant of time dt that was equation 1 now in this equation if m is regarded as constant if m is regarded as constant and we say that t plus m not c square is total energy and t square plus 2 m not c square t whole power half is momentum p then we can write pt dt is proportional to n t dt within energy range t to t plus delta t here n t is a probability which shows that a beta particle is emitted with energy t and in that case we can write nt is equal to f ep into e not minus e square and f is fermi function e stands for this energy term p stands for this momentum term t not in this equation has been replaced by e not and t by e now if we further proceed then we can write nt over f e p whole power half that's equal to e not minus e so if we plot nt over f e p whole power half against energy e then we should get a straight line and that transition for which we get a straight line if we plot a graph between this term and energy that transition will be allowed but in practical applications we don't proceed so we don't talk about n as a function of t but we talk about n as a function of momentum p within momentum range p to p plus delta p so in actual then we talk about square root of n p n p whole power half within momentum range p to p plus delta p and further we divide this term p square f whole power half p is momentum and f is fermi function then we plot a graph and along x axis we 
talk about kinetic energy taken in mev and along vertical direction we take np over p square f whole power half and for oxygen 15 if we talk about these two quantities we get this sort of line this straight line and this straight line is according to Fermi theory of beta decay and for forbidden decays the Curie Fermi plot Curie Fermi plot sometimes called Fermi we also say Fermi Curie plot will be a distorted curve actual the departure from linearity in the tail of Kirby, Curie Fermi plot then if plot comes out to be in this way which is deviation from this linearity behavior then it is a guide to the existence of non-zero mass of neutrino and if Curie Fermi plot for any disintegration in the straight line then that transition or decay is allowed transition which is in accordance to Fermi theory. So if we summarize once more we can say that if we obtain a straight line for a transition or decay then that transition is allowed transition.